most Americans probably know about taking vitamins, but there is a good chance there is one they are missing, vitamin D. We all need it. Most of us are probably deficient, and it is critical for a healthy body. You find that people who have genetically lower levels of vitamin D die more uh, at an earlier age than people who have a higher level of vitamin D. Cannell is a leading expert in the use and research of vitamin D. Vitamin D he is also the founder of the Vitamin D Council, based in San Luis Obispo, California. It provides information and answers designed to help consumers. If you don't keep your vitamin D levels in a healthy range, uh, you know, it, it probably takes two years off your, your life. And people with lower levels of vitamin D appear to be most Americans. Riley Peterson calls it a pandemic. The vitamin D deficiency pandemic is a really serious thing that's going on right now because there is a lack of education going on about vitamin D deficiency. Um, so that's our main goal here at the Vitamin D Council is to educate the population. Vitamin D deficiency is hugely prevalent and it's been linked with so many chronic conditions that we're trying to change that focus. It can be considered a, a silent deficiency because many people who are deficient have no idea that they are. Some people can feel fatigue, joint or muscle pain. Why is vitamin D so important? There are 2,000 different genes that it's regulating. A lot of genes that have to do with growth and development, regulating blood supply, genes that have to do with the myocyte, the cell in the cardiac muscle in the heart. Some of the general themes underlying the research that we see on a daily basis is that vitamin D helps inflammation. If there's excessive inflammation, it's going to reduce the inflammation and it also helps strengthen the immune system. How do you get vitamin D? The ideal way to get vitamin D is from the sun. Um, we recommend getting out into the sunshine from noon to three or you know whenever your shadow is shorter than you are that's kind of our rule of thumb but what if you can't do that what's the alternative and if not a supplement's always a good way to go how do you know how much to take it can vary up to 10,000 units a day to find out ask your doctor for a vitamin d test because there is a genetic variation in how much each of us need or Contact the Vitamin D Council, which provides a low-cost kit, and you can do it yourself. Cheryl Taves of Shafter, California, got a surprise when she went to her doctor. Just check in and find out what was up with me. I was just having some issues, feeling tired, and this and that and the other thing. Anyway, he did a full blood workup, find out I'm very low in vitamin D. I mean, like, so low that it was, like, scary low. So he put me on vitamin D um, capsules for a month and um, very strong ones, high dose. Did it make a difference for you? Yes, yes it has. I, I feel more energy, I feel better. Yes, definitely. People have been incapacitated with some illness, usually an autoimmune illness, and uh, vitamin D is basically next to miraculous in helping them. Missy Sturgis is also a living example. Suffering from an autoimmune condition in her teens, it was discovered that she was deficient. Vitamin D has made all the difference. Now I simply just take vitamin D and I'm healthy. They think I don't have an autoimmune condition anymore. I mean, I'm not in pain, I'm not feeling fatigued, and really the only thing that has changed is vitamin D. The Vitamin D Council is a nonprofit organization and needs your financial help to continue its program of public information and education. You can donate online by going to pledgevitamindcouncil.org. Call 805-439-1075.